Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing Mach 3's auto configuration check feature as well as its built in restore feature for your XML file should you encounter any issues. Now, I would say at least 95% of my troubleshooting consultations usually deal with one or two of these issues. So let's jump right in. We're going to go right into Mach 3. I'm not naturally I'm not going to select the UC 400 we're just doing a demo here I'm going to reset the e-stop what I want to show you guys is that you can come up here into operator and if you come down there is a restore setting feature if you click on this read this carefully Mach 3 keeps a backup of your last 21 settings for files you may select the settings file from the list to move back to each file represents one run of Mach 3 your setup file changes on each use. If it becomes corrupted, select one of the files below. This will revert your settings to that run of Mach 3. Going back to an older file will revert your settings to the day that of that run. This can fix any corruption issue you may have inadvertently create through a system crash, program malfunction, or unknown corruptions. Now you can see I've got six different runs individually of Mach 3, and therefore I can select from those six different runs. If I want to restore one of those runs, I just click restore. This is very powerful because most guys with consultations, this is one of the number one topics I always deal with, is issues with, oh, my Mach 3 file got corrupted, I don't know my settings. This is autonomously done, and again, it's super intelligent. You just select the file you want to go to from a specific run and click restore, and you're golden. And if you do do that, um, again, it'll say six. If I click restore, it says program shutting down. Restart for changes take effect. Now, again, I didn't change anything. So if I end, come back in, that would be the entire cycle for you to have those settings restored. That being said, let's look at another super powerful feature under the operator tab. If we come down, you can see there's check config. If you click this, configuration check facility. Any obvious errors are checked by this facility. Passing does not mean you have no errors, but as more error possibilities are found, more checks will be added to this facility. Currently, the most frequent tech support errors are checked for. Now, again, guys, this is not going to validate every error out there, but it's certainly going to allow you to see if anything is standing out. Now, what's interesting is it picked up. It says you are using a high kernel speed then is recommended uh, for your motor tuning. It is recommended you reset the program to 25 kilohertz mode, restart and retune the motors. Failing to do so will negatively affect GUI performance. So it picked up, and you can see here that if I come into config, port and pin, you can see right here I have it set at 100 kilohertz. So it detected that. Now, under general config, if we go back in there, you can see that it's going to look for no port and pin errors found in output signals, end of output signals check. Digitizing probe, end of probe check. Motor settings, enable motors only are checked. Uh, let's see, motor settings, end of motor settings, end of motor checks. Uh, checkup complete. Please check any errors listed. Thank you for checking your settings. And again, this is very basic, but a lot of times you may be overlooking something. This will find it immediately if it's a bit sick setting. Again, you do have limit homing check. That's something that's you know all over the place as far as tech support. So these are settings that are built in. Once again, features and resources, and I don't feel enough end users are using them or for that matter, even though they exist. So again, it's under the operator tab. Just do the drop down. And again, you got check config, and we also have restore settings. Uh, to do this, once again, is a joke. Practice getting into the habit of looking for these additional features. And again, I always recommend coming up here to operator and just scroll down and see what's there. You know, you got edit button script. Uh, VB script editor. I mean, you can go down and see maintenance hours. This I covered in another video on how to reference how many maintenance hours on your machine. I get questions about that all the time. Here it is. And you can see total operating time. So you don't have to memorize that. If you want to do a service on your machine, you want to say it, set it at maybe 12 hours. Just wait for 12 hours runtime. Reset this when you're done. Again, you can see reset all and you're good. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that it's alleviated the issue with how do I restore my XML file or how do I check for the most basic of settings. Again, that check config utility is very powerful in the sense of looking for 
those specific errors that stand out. Again, limit and homing switches. Switches are always a tech support question. So keep that in mind. For new end users, this is really going to streamline a lot and making you familiar with the backup procedure will just make you that much more prepared in the event something does happen. So again, I want to thank you all for your support. Take care.